Hey, Bruce Naylor here. Today we're doing a Battle of the Desktop Tripods. And these are three of the more highly rated desktop tripods that you're going to find when you're looking for these on YouTube. And we're going to be talking about the Sir Yui. It is the 3T-35K, the Manfrotto Evo Pixie 2, and then the King of the Hill, the one that everybody aspires to be the killer of, the Joby Gorilla Pod Focus X with Ball Head. Uh, yeah, this or the Joby Gorilla Pod Focus with Ball Head X. I'm sorry about that. I've used all three. I own all three. So I'm going to talk to you, no BS, just my experience with these three. And I think we're going to start with the King of the Hill right here, the Joby Gorilla Pod Focus with Ball Head X. This is weighs a little over a pound, like 1.1 pounds. It is metal, aluminum, a little bit of rubber. Uh, maybe some plastic on here, and a nice, nice ball head uh, that comes with it. You buy it as a kit. I don't know if you can actually buy this separate, but as together, these are a little over $100, like $101. Again, weighs 1.1 pounds and will support, according to the manufacturer, up to 11 pounds. This is the big boy. This is the big gun. This one Casey Neistat uses. This is the one when you see videos that this, uh, this tripod is a Joby Killer. This one's a Joby Killer. And I, I got to correct these guys. I got You don't buy one of these just to be a desktop tripod, all right? You buy these because of the ability to turn it into other things. It can clamp, right? It can act as a clamp to hold your DSLR, your camcorder, whatever. You can bend this into multiple shapes. That's what it is being marketed and sold to do. Yes, you can use it strictly as a desktop tripod, but it's so much more than that. Now... Do I have any beefs about it? Well, this actually hasn't got a whole lot of use, so these joints are pretty stiff. But you can bend it into being a selfie stick, right? You just grab them and, and bend, and then you have your selfie stick if you want to do the whole Casey Neistat thing. Uh, since I don't really do that kind of thing, but I have found uses for it. For example, going up to a lake, there was a rail around there. I was able to bend this thing to position, mount the camera on there, and get the footage that I wanted. That is something I wouldn't be able to do with the other two desktop tripods I'm talking about. Now, some people will say that given time with a lot of use, these joints will start to loosen and your camera will tip over. I have not experienced that yet because I have not fairly uh, put that much use on it. It appears to be well made. It appears to be very solid. But if you actually want to do vlogging with this thing, I'm going to tell you right now, in my opinion, it is too heavy for me. And I'm not really a weak person, uh, but if you throw on a Canon 70D, 80D, or a nice heavy DSLR, and then a shotgun mic and the battery and all that stuff, you've got some serious weight on this thing. And the, yes, you can do that uh, if you've got the upper body strength and so forth, but... I think this is less than ideal to be using as a selfie stick with a DSLR, but certainly doable. There are people doing it, just not one of them. So I looked at some alternatives. Next on the list, this is the Manfrotto, and this is the um, Pixie Evo 2. This is a desktop uh, or tabletop tripod. Also has a ball head on it with a little knob. You just have this one knob to turn and then the ball head will move around as you see and it uses a thumb screw uh, to attach to your DSLR. Now what's nice about this device is you pull out the legs right and you've got your basic tabletop tripod. They're also extendable. There's little buttons here. You pull down like so and now it's taller. All right. And if you want to get really close to the ground Put it in, there's a little switch you turn, and now it goes almost all the way down to the ground. Uh, very, very low. And of course, you can put the legs back up and get a little bit more height. I will say that after using this tripod with my 70D, uh, my AX53, and the T6i, if you're going for weight and vlogging and looking more for uh, a selfie stick type of um, tabletop tripod 
you're looking for the least amount of weight. This weighs about nine ounces. And it costs uh, about $44. I'll link to all this down below on Amazon. This is by far, I think, the most comfortable. It's also by far the lightest. As far as the build quality, seems to be pretty good. Aluminum and plastic. The ball head on here, I don't know. It feels like you don't want to over tighten it. I think it's a bit questionable about the longevity, but all in all, I think the build quality is probably a little bit better. If you're not going to be bending it, if you don't need something, you're going to be bending into a lot of different positions. For day-to-day -day use, I think this is really, really good. However, what's the flaw with this? In my opinion, when you sit at a desk at a comfortable, normal seating level, and you want to put a camera on there and record yourself, it's too short. It's still not tall enough. And, not, and to use it as a selfie stick, maybe not enough length. Not exactly ideal. Uh, I've noticed people, YouTube vloggers, and, uh, or create videos with these on their desktop, and they, they're looking down on their camera because these aren't tall enough. Um, it would be great if uh, Manfrotto made a model that was a little bit taller. That was my one big beef about uh, this particular desktop tripod but for $45 appears to be well made Manfrotto is a reputable brand now let's round out our battle this is the Sir Yui I can never remember this is a 3T 35k now this weighs right at 15.8 ounces just slightly under a pound um, definitely with the ball head X this weighs quite a bit more it says 1.1 pounds but I believe that's without the ball head so you've got to add more weight to that. So this is somewhere in between, weight-wise, between this guy and this guy. Now, when you look at the two, you know, one of my beasts was about height, right? You can see that one is much taller than the other. However, the Sir Yui has a little trick up his sleeve. I turn this little center post, pull it up, tighten it back down. I have now got about the same height as the other, you see? That's good, but I have a few more tricks up my sleeve with the Sir Yui. By taking the bottom here, I can lift the legs up, and now I have a selfie stick. Lower it down, I can have a very short selfie stick, turn the knob, pull it up, make it longer, whoops, there we go. And tighten it down here, okay. There we go. And now I can, that's adjustable. This this length right here is adjustable. Um, also a ball head on it, like so. It's got a nice mounting system on it. And of course, I can go ahead and lower the legs. It's got a little thing you turn right down here at the bottom, and that locks them in, keeps it from going anywhere. And I'll lower it down. There we go. Put the ball head into place, lock it in. There I have it. Again, all I gotta do is turn this bottom, put the legs up, and I got a selfie stick. So this falls in between. This is about $65, all metal, very solid, very solid construction. Unlike the Pixie Evo 2, which is basically really plasticky, um, doesn't feel anywhere near as sturdy as the Sir Yui. Now this is the desk or tabletop tripod of choice for me. It's a little bit heavier than the Manfrotto, not as heavy as this, but I also don't have the versatility, but I'm not paying 400 bucks either for this thing. Again, this serves, I believe, a really an entirely different purpose. It's multi-purpose. This is more single purpose, but I get the height to set a 70D on there and record. Now, I will say, let's talk about weight, what this can support. This can support up to about five pounds, I believe. Let me double check on my notes. 8.8. .8. Okay, so this can support up to 8.8. I would not have it fully extended. All right. All the legs down, lock it in here. We're gonna raise this up, tighten it up. 
I would not have a really big DSLR with a long lens fully extended. I'm afraid that would probably tip over. I've had the 70D on it. I wouldn't want to venture too far away with it being fully extended, but so far, no problem. Uh, didn't want to seem to tip or anything. And of course, like that, then I wouldn't be afraid of putting much more weight on it. In the final analysis, this is not a Joby killer. This is not a Joby killer. This is the Joby. Um, what can I say? Depends on your needs. It really does. It depends on your needs and what you're going to be using the uh, the desktop trip uh, desktop tripod for. If you're doing a lot of selfie stuff, I think this is excellent. If you're looking for something very light, very very portable, then go with the Manfrotto. You're not going to be disappointed, especially if you're out. Maybe you have like a Canon GX7, something like that, or it's uh, 100. Uh, that's going to be fine. If you're looking for something that's going to be extremely versatile and use in multiple conditions, then go with the Joby. But none of these are a Joby killer. But for me, I think the best compromise is right here. Build quality is there. The, the height is there. The ability to use a selfie stick, a desktop tripod all-in-one for $65. Bucks. You can't go wrong. This is, the, this is it. This is the uh, battle of the desktop tripods. We could certainly go into more depth. But uh, I don't think that's necessary. I think you can tell by watching this video would probably work best for you. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments down below.